Hi there, I'm back again. I have another project to share with you. This is a Halloween tag album um, that I created and it is for a swap partner on the Facebook Swap It page. So I just wanted to share it with you all and show you what I created. So let's just get started. First of all, I have one, two, three, four, five, six tags that I created. Um, I used uh, cereal boxes and decided on how big I wanted to make them. And then I just cut them to the design that I wanted. So like this first one here is just a square with the rounded edges. And then I just use some black and white striped pattern paper on either side. And then I just have a little skull um, here with the spider web and a, I glued a spider on that. And then the, the wood veneer, Happy Halloween, just with some uh, washi tape and then some glitter paper from the Dollar Tree. So that's how I decorated the the fro. There's some enamel dots here and there on the, the orange one. So that's the cover. And then on the other side of it, um, I left it blank. Um, so you can put a photo there if you if she wishes. Um, and then here I made an envelope out of the um, pattern, some of the Halloween pattern paper that I had, uh, and I filled it with some, um, some goodies there for her. Then I have one of these glassine bags that I purchased at Target, and I just punched a hole in it, um, and kind of using that as a tag, kind of, sort of, and then I just have some tags that I'm gifting her on the inside there and then I have some some uh, orange twine black and purple and then I have some black eyelash trim um, on this one there so then those will just go in that little sack like that and then here I have another tag that uh, is all decorated up um, I used some uh, orange spider paper, uh, and this one is more like a traditional tag with the corners cut off. And then I have this Halloween uh, bingo card, I just layered some washi tape and some um, bling there, here and here. And then just some buttons, some Halloween buttons, some twine, and an ephemera and then one of those ring spiders that I just cut that the ring part off so I have a little layered look there and then I just left it blank on the other side and then here I just have one of those little spiders from the Dollar Tree here I just have another uh, square tag with some green pattern paper used one of those pumpkin doilies and this came from another paper collection it was just a sheet of a bunch of numbers so I just did 31 layered some uh, black and white uh, baker twine this here is just a print from the computer and then we have a little spider down here and some enamel dots and this one here again I left blank and then I just added a another envelope filled with a bunch of goodies in there. And then I just attached them with a washi tape there on the front and on the back so they would stay. And then here we just have a little a little or tag here um, with the corners, four corners are all cut out. And I just used some black and white polka dotted paper that I had in my stash. Got some washi tape. Um, a little ephemera that came with 
my paper pad for my Halloween paper pad, and then just a couple glittered pumpkins. And then it is blank on the reverse side. And then this here, I believe I got at Target in their dollar spot. It's um, a ruffly looking um, pumpkin there. So I have that there. And then my other tag is cut with the um, banner look. And you can see I have some purple uh, paper and some washi tape with bats on it, some ephemera, some enamel dots, and some bat stickers, and then another one of those um, spider rings that I just cut the ring part off. And then this one also is blank on the back side and then I just attached a envelope again with a bunch of goodies in there for her and then here I used some glitter paper and this paper is from the Dollar Tree and it's gold kind of looks orange so I thought it would be great and then here we just have some layered look we have some enamel dots some washi tape um, this washi tape here with the skulls and the spiders from Target. Then we have some crepe paper underneath there. This was printed off from the internet and then a glittered spider which is up on pop dots so it's raised up a little bit. And then I just used some spider paper on the back of that glitter paper and, and I just left it plain. Again we have another, another bag. And it is filled with washi tape and some um, gifting some uh, twine and eyelash trim and stuff like that for her. So those are in this glassine bag. And then I have another tag that looks like a mummy box or a coffin or whatever you want to call it and then I just have one of those um, digital stamps um, and I can't I always forget the name of those digital stamps and then underneath that we just have some green um, burlap a couple spiders and some bling and then I have some tiny words that says fake blood and vampire teeth on my little saying there. And then it is um, done with some patterned paper there. And you can see on the back there, that's what I used. And then here we just have a, a bat from the Dollar Tree. And then this tag here is more like the traditional tags. Um, it is done with this pattern paper. And I just have the orange polka dotted paper on the side and some trim with like little balls on it here. And I just have a mini bingo card and some more of that green burlap. We have a spider and this was gifted to me. This is um, cut out of one of those cupcake liners. And then it just says haunted house, haunted houses. So there's my Halloween tag album. And then here I'm just sending a bunch of goodies off with this here. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and yeah, until next time, thank you. Bye.